The Chandrayaan-3 mission has a total of seven payloads this year, six of which are ISRO's while one is NASA's. This is also similar to Chandrayaan-1, which also carried a single NASA payload. This time, the Vikram lander carries four payloads. The first is the radio anatomy of moon-bound hypersensitive ionosphere and atmosphere or RAMBA. The RAMBA payload will measure the plasma density near the moon's surface and its variations over time. RAMBA is a Langwell probe. This is a device that can be used to measure properties of electrons and plasma. Plasma is the fourth state of matter after solid, liquid and gas and is present in the form of superheated gas that is subject to the influence of an electromagnetic field. Therefore, it consists of charged particles including ions and electrons and plasma is in fact the most abundant form of matter in the universe because it also exists near, inside and around stars as well as in the interstellar medium. The moon is surrounded by plasma from the solar wind. Solar wind are charged particles coming from the sun. Because electrons travel fast in heat, the lunar surface also collects these electrons and thus accumulates a negative charge. This is something that is often said about the moon that its surface is negatively charged. And this plasma is also very dusty. Additionally, the distribution and density of this plasma around the moon is not really uniform. The plasma in moon's exosphere varies constantly under the solar influence and the solar wind and the mechanics of how it varies over time is what the Ramba payload will capture and quantify. The next payload in the lander is the Chandra Surface Thermophysical Experiment or CHAST. CHAST will study the moon's thermal conductivity and surface temperature. It will measure the temperature gradient vertically, how cooler it gets as you climb, and it will also see how much heat the surface of the moon can conduct. It has thermal probes with sensors that will dig into the lunar soil or regolith, and these probes will dig up to a depth of 10 cm to assess the thermal properties. The third ISRO payload in the lander is the Instrument for Lunar Seismic Activity or ILSA. ILSA will measure seismicity around the landing site. There are quakes on the moon, they are called moon quakes, and they are not unusual. In recent times, they have been well studied. They primarily occur because the moon is cooling and shrinking as a result of which energy is released in the form of quakes and can appear as cracks on the lunar crust. ILSA will be able to detect minute displacement on the ground and it will also measure the velocity and speed of these lunar quakes. The fourth payload on the lander is a NASA payload and it is a passive laser retroreflector array that will allow for lunar laser ranging studies. Laser ranging studies are typically ones that entail pointing a laser at a faraway reflector and measuring how long it takes for the light to bounce back to the source. Such experiments help in making more accurate the speed and distance of the moon from Earth and understand the dynamics of the Earth-Moon system. It is called passive because the payload doesn't do anything apart from just exist. These were the scientific payloads. Apart from this, the lander also carries a camera that is called the Lander Hazard Detection and Avoidance Camera or the LHDAC, the LHDA camera. This camera will be used to identify a safe location for landing, preventing the craft from ending up unintentionally inside craters or on slopes. The camera is very useful for selecting a landing destination and it has also already captured images of the lunar surface which ISRO has released and has also tweeted. The Pragyan rover has two payloads. The Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer or the APXS will determine the elements present on the lunar surface at the landing site. It uses X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy where X-rays or alpha particles are bombarded onto the lunar surface to excite it or give it more energy. This is done through the element curium in the lander and it can detect major elements on the surface of the moon including the ones that form rocks such as aluminium, calcium, iron, silica, sodium, magnesium, titanium and also strontium, yttrium and zircon. 
ammonium. The other payload on the rover is the Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscope or LIBS. LIBS will calculate the abundance at which these elements are present. This instrument will fire high-powered laser pulses at various points on the lunar soil and the radiation emitted will inform the density of a particular element. Meanwhile, there is still yet another payload that isn't on Vikram or Pragyan. The propulsion module which carried the spacecraft from Earth's orbit to the necessary lunar orbit will continue to orbit the moon and from the moon it will study the Earth's atmosphere using its payload the spectropolarimetry of habitable Earth or SHAPE. SHAPE will perform spectroscopy and polarization studies on the atmosphere and clouds of Earth so that it can gather data about biosignatures that indicate the presence of life. These biosignatures can then be used to identify habitable exoplanets. The propulsion module is expected to function for about three months, but it carries a lot of fuel. It carries about 150 kilos of fuel, which could in fact give it a lifespan going into a few years.